Flasher versus uh, STA Alex T. Uh, oh shit, can't see anything now. It's alright though. Alright, you guys are good to go. What's up? Oh, you guys are switched up then? Okay, that's that's all right. You can keep it going. So they're switched up. Uh, Z Slasher on player two. Uh, SCA Alex T on player one. I'm doing like a million things at once. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Uh, if you do me a favor and tweet this out, post it up on Facebook, all that crap, uh, that'd be a huge help. These guys uh, just... Checking their buttons. Looks like they're good. They're getting close to good, so. You can see him there. Getting situated. Alright, so um I don't know who I don't know, I, I forget who Alex T plays. Is it like T Hawk or something? May Long? I'm not sure. We'll find out shortly. Z Slasher, no idea. Either. No clue. Yeah, Z Slasher works at dis Discuss. Comment, comment, comment system that you'll uh, see on various websites all across the internet. So uh, he's, uh, looks like he's rocking Zangief. Uh, Alex D with Rose, of course, yeah. So uh, let's, let's, get, let's get down here. Alex T playing pretty pretty aggressive here. So Z Slasher work, trying to work his way out of the corner. Not really in the best position, but uh, Alex Alex T not afraid. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna get my tweet on right now. Oh wow! Oh man, Z Slasher he almost had it. Almost fought, fought his way back. All right. So if you guys are uh, following us on Twitter at iPlayWinner, uh, if you could, uh, I'm gonna send out a tweet right now. If you just retweet that, that'll be a huge help. Um, get the word out to some more people. Share it on your uh, Facebook timeline, stuff like that. So, uh, in any case, we are in there now. So once again, uh, Z Slasher to he's pretty significant uh, life deficit here. Alex T putting on the pressure, just really good footsies, but not. Oh hey, what's up, El Cabano Loco in the house? Hey, uh, pay, pay him at the front. Oh, you did? Okay, you're in there. Okay, cool. Got El Cabano Loco in the house, and uh, Alex T taking take the first one. See, they go right back into it. Maybe a character selects. Right, right back into it. Got a bunch of matches going on off stream as well. Uh, I think we have three or four stations going on right now, so we're gonna try to plow through this uh, Street Fighter tournament. Um, Usually wraps up around like 9.30 or so, and then we'll uh, swing over to Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. If you're in the Bay Area and want to play some Marvel, come out tonight. Like I said we had like 20-something 20, 20 entrants for Super Street Fighter 4. And uh, see, how, see how many we have for Marvel a little later on. Once again, good stuff from Alex T. He's really uh, just been dictating the pace of the match. Uh, D Slasher needs to make something happen, and, and not like that. Burn a little meter there. I think he might have been looking for a EX green hand. Maybe got a missed input. I've seen uh, bigger comebacks in my time, but this is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty difficult. All right, it worked the first time, not the second time. So. And uh, Alex, Alex T on match point now. Already with a pretty pretty strong lead. Yeah. Oh. oh, and 
and just like that, Alex T uh, takes it home. So uh, good stuff. Let's see who's uh, who's up next. Not entirely sure. I don't have the bracket. I'm actually having uh, SF Geef run the uh, brackets today. But we got uh, Kira Kiba in the background there, El Cabano Loco. Um, I actually forgot my tripod today, so there will be no uh, street cam, unfortunately. It's one of my favorite things about coming to Southtown and streaming here is you got the street cam and uh, see what kind of shenanigans go on outside. Uh, so we get a match for the stream. Hey, uh, Eric. Eric. I need a match up here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... Uh, Bear with us. And again, this is just the first round winners. I uh, got some killer matches uh, lined up in the uh, second round of winners. And I actually don't know either one of these guys. They're stepping out of the plate, unfortunately. Let's see. So this is Ajax and Bross. So who's, who's, who's Ajax? You're Ajax? You're Bross? Bruce. OK, all right, cool. All right, so I got Bruce. So that was Bross. Um, all right. So Ajax is sitting down there. He's got the glasses uh, there on the left on your screen. Ajax. The Bross. There on your right. Just plug it in there, six and stuff, but. Uh, Pull up another shot here. So uh, Harrison, uh, I know Harrison's on his way. Uh, I say he just uh, crossed over the bridge or some crap. He's almost here. So uh, Harrison, be showing up. Probably be joining me on uh, commentary. Uh, Hanzo Gonzo, I assume, is riding with him and will be entering the Marvel tournament a little later. Win Zero is already in the house, practicing up uh, in the back there. So. Uh, Guys are just plugging in their sticks currently. Shoutouts to uh, Adark, our sponsor for this season. You can go to adark.com, check out all their magnificent joysticks. And uh, oh, these guys are having a hard time with the PS3. <laughs> oh, they got it. They're getting close anyway. It's a little dark here in the arcade. Oh man, what's going on? Oh, I'm like totally out of focus. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's a little dark in the arcade. Usually, shut off the lights for the ram bats. Make it quite, quite romantic in here. Um, be sure to uh, join us tomorrow uh, for Real on a Sundays, one o'clock Pacific. Actually, actually, it's like real lazy Sundays because we usually don't get started until like two o'clock. Uh, oh, looks like they're switching sides again. Um, we'll have uh, KOF, KOF 13. Uh, around, yeah, like 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then uh, we'll have Cap uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2 a little later in the day. I think we're usually around like 4, 4.30 or so. So be sure to check that out. Same spot. I play winner. And uh, shout out to the Phantom Knot in the chat. He posts up the bracket there if you guys want to check it out. But uh, get, get right into it. Again, I have not uh, I've not seen these guys play. I haven't seen them actually at, the, at these Rambats yet, so. Are you ready? Fight! Oh, it's doing a quick button check. That's a quick button check. So yeah, tomorrow we'll have, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be live pretty much all day. No, there's a bunch of other streams going on uh, this weekend. So, as always, I appreciate the support. Rolling through to check out our Rambats each and every week. Well, almost each and every week. Every other week. So, it looks like these guys are about good. Heading back out to uh, Character Select. And I think this is the last match in first round winners, and then we're gonna swoop over to second round. And I uh, got Kurakiba, Harrison, Willpower, SF Geef, El Cabano Loco, Joe Dubs. Joe Dubs is a very entertaining player to watch. So we got some uh, good stuff coming up right around the corner. And uh, Bross playing Yoon. Ajax with uh, Ryu. Let's get started. See how it shakes out. 
All right, good approach from uh, Bross. Very, very quickly uh, put Ajax in the corner. He gets a stun as well, so uh, very, very good stuff so far. Oh, wow, misses a combo. That could be huge. Oh, no, Ajax drops the crucial FADC in Ultra. That's unfortunate. Ross got off easy there. That could have that could have been the match, or really uh, turn the tides. But uh, Ross takes that first round. The second round looking looking very similar. Uh, Already has Ajax in the corner. And uh, very, very dominating round from Bross. Good stuff. Let's get started. See if Ajax can make some adjustments here. Uh, he's been getting dominated pretty, uh, like, like early on. He's been getting uh, dominated for the most part. So we'll see if he can switch it up. Already sort of a different uh, change of pace here. Gets the folks attack, but oh man, no. Uh, no follow up combo. Maybe it's because there's a level 2 focus attack. I don't know what happened there, but uh, Ross flipped out. Maybe Ajax, or uh, yeah, Ajax was a little slow. Still has a pretty decent life lead. Uh, didn't have an ultra there, but that nice chunk of damage. A little strong and a walk up throw, I think it was. And the battle continues. Fight! Okay, he gets it that time. Maybe just need to get uh, a little warmed up. But he's in there. Uh, he's backing off a little bit. I don't know if I agree with that. I say, you know, try to keep keep going in the corner. Don't want him out in the out in the wild where he can wreak havoc just like this. Controlling space on the screen is like the most important thing in these fighting games. You know, execution, of course, very important. Mind games, mix-ups, Oki, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, just being able to control space is very important. So keeping the opponent in the corner, very, very strong stuff. You don't, you don't want to let them, let them out if you can help it. So, Ajax looking pretty good, although uh, Bross has enough meter to make something happen here. He could bring it back very quickly, but uh, I think that's going to be it. That ultra, oh yeah, it's just enough. Just enough. So, uh, good stuff to Ajax. He ties it up. 1-1. One, one. See if we'll uh, see a character select. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Make a few uh, requests to SF Gifu. So graciously running the brackets for me tonight. It's very awesome. I, re I appreciate it a lot. So, yeah, no no character change. Um, still f fairly even. Uh, Bross has a slight, slight advantage with meter, but... Uh, Overall, he's uh, keeping keeping Ajax pinned in the corner there, but he, Ajax makes his way out. See what see what he can do with it. Oh, he's kind of expecting for to go in with like a low forward there, trying to get that EX fireball uh, into Ultra. I think that works in the corner. Standing short to close it out. Bross on uh, match point here. 
Ajax has got to make something happen if he wants to stay, uh, stay out of the loser's bracket for now. Oh, okay. Low strong FADC and a throw. I don't know if I agree with that or if that was even intentional, but uh, again, Bross is with the uh, complete domination here as far as controlling, uh, controlling space. Ajax trying to make something happen. Okay. So Bross takes it. Good stuff. Shake hands. And uh, yeah, Bross moves on. Ajax still lives to see another day in the loser's bracket. Pretty, pretty solid play, I'd say. Uh, Ajax, uh, he had a few critical misses, I think, and he had a hard time uh, finding his way out of the corner. And uh, Bross just did a really good job keeping the pressure on, pushing him in the corner, keeping him there. And uh, we'll see what we have, see what we have up next. Ooh, Joe Dubs, awesome, versus uh, I think Frisco. I'm not sure who Frisco is, though. Yeah, Frisco, so uh, Joe Dubs stepping up. So um, I expect to see some Dudley play. Joe Dubs, I think, is uh, pretty much exclusively a Dudley player now. This is uh, actually winner's round two, so see some, some really good matches coming up. Frisco, I actually have not seen him play. Joe Dubs is uh, actually from LA. He just moved up here, moved to uh, San Francisco, uh, I guess it was about like a month ago, a month and a half ago. Did, uh, he did pretty well last Rambat. And uh, he did really well in the CBS2 Rambat last, uh, last time. Ended up getting second, just a leasy. This is no, uh, no, no easy feat. There's a lot of very, very skilled, very talented uh, C CBS2 players uh, here at Southtown on Sundays. So, good stuff to Joe Dubs. And uh, I think they already checked their buttons, so they're gonna go right into it. Yep, uh, sticking with Dudley and then Frisco playing a Dawn. So, uh, we'll see how this shakes out. Okay, yeah, looks like Harrison just showed up. What's up, man? Got uh, Hanzo Gonzo signing up for Marvel, it looks like. Are you ready? Joe Dubs with the corner pressure now. Oh, nice overhead. Oh, misses the uh, the link. Oh, puts himself in the corner for some reason, but uh, hits combo that time. Last tournament, he was having a he was having a rough time hitting some of these links, but uh, he's looking uh, quite a bit stronger now. So uh, he actually uh, Joe Dubs mentioned me last last uh, I think last Sunday, a couple Sundays ago. He said that next tournament I'm gonna be much more on point. Not gonna be missing those combos as much. So. Ultra, ultra is him for the win. Good stuff, Joe Dubs. See what uh, Frisco can do to turn it around. That was a uh, fairly, fairly quick round there, or a fairly, fairly, fairly quick match. Excuse me. And uh, looks like Frisco is, yeah. So he's doing a little soul searching. 
thing. And what's what's the answer here? What do I need to do? And uh, he switches it up to Rose actually. So we'll see see how that works out for him. Sorry, I was uh, on Twitter. Twitter there. See what's going on in the Twitterverse. Oh, we got shenanigans. Oh man, Joe Dubs is in there right now. Another stun. East, right of the gut. One, two, three. Oh, try to get kind of fancy there. I don't know if I agree with it, but Frisco kind of wilding out. Burning meter. Activate Soul Satellite. And uh, see what we can do with it. All right, just like that, he's finding his way back. I, I, I smell a thunderbolt. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got him in trouble that time. Good stuff to Frisco. He held it down there. He was on the brink of death there. Uh, Joe Dubs needs to play a little bit, a little bit more solid this time. He was he kind of feel, feel himself a little bit too much last match. Ended up throwing it away. All right, so uh, Frisco locked and loaded, full super, and uh, activate Soul Satellite. So this is where he's gonna make his approach, try to make something happen. Got the counter hit, but wasn't able to really convert into anything. Ooh. Oh, okay. Use a little bit of meter to keep it safe, but oh my gosh! And he gets a throw. So uh, match match point for uh, Joe Dubs. Frisco playing much, much better than that first match. Joe Dub's got to start making something happen here. Good anti-air. And, oh, I, I, I saw him uh, go for the super. Oh, my gosh. But uh, Joe Dub's didn't really have any meter to do anything too damaging. And I think this is this could be it. Um, really just has to chip him out here, yeah. And, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Frisco's still in there. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man, Joe Dobbs. <laughs> good stuff. Oh man, that was, that was a pretty good match. Frisco had it, but uh, Joe Dobbs with that, that ultra. To bring it back. So uh, okay, we got uh, this should be a good one. We got uh, willpower versus uh, chop suey. Chop suey, haven't seen him in quite some time, so it's good to see him back here. It's got the broken tear shirt. So Chopsui, um, if I recall, he plays Viper, and unless something's changed since the last time he was here. But uh, Willpower, uh, oh, he plays, he plays Sakura. I swear to God, he was a Viper player. But uh, I don't know, this might be a fun check, too, so we'll see, see what happens. Willpower, yeah, long-time DJ player. Haven't really seen him play anybody else ever. But I kind of, yeah, I do think this is a butt check, so we'll see. Let's get started. 
Yeah. So it's probably yeah probably going to be C Viper versus Dudley. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much uh, Chop Suey's been playing recently. Like I said, I haven't seen him since like the middle of like season four or something. So it's been a long time. But uh, he's very skilled. He did uh, did very well in many of the previous Rambats. I think he was you know typically like top eight most most times. I think he got like top three like like one of the during like one of the Rambats. So. Alright, so uh, let's start it off here. Oh, that's bad, uh, bad Thunder Knuckle there. Willpower getting some, some early damage. Oh. Okay, so. Chop Suey looks like the execution's there. He's just having a hard time making anything happen. He's got to open up, uh, open up willpower somehow. But he just hasn't been able to find that clean hit. Got uh, Harrison on the mic here. What's up? Oh, he's uh, just on the microphone. What's up, man? Yeah, what's up? Sorry, I got here so late. Oh, it's all good, dude. I uh, we got started pretty late anyway. I mean, at this point, like I just kind of expect shit to start like at 7:30 at the earliest. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, uh, I got to the bridge and it was backed up all the way from that to like Lombard Street. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, it was shit. awful. I wonder why. I don't know. Uh. So uh, for first round here, first match, uh, S uh, SCA Willpower takes it. Um, looks like Chopsu. He's trying to he's trying to bring it back a little bit, but just wasn't really able to get any like like big hits. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, like clean openings to do some big damage. So, I mean, okay. not that Viper has many hard matchups, but I mean, she's gonna have to try a little bit in this fight, just yeah. because she can't really do burn kick, you know, shenanigans and stuff. So, okay. Her or DJ slides pretty good. His up kick is good against burn kicks. Like. It's just hard to feel sorry for it. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, it's your one bad match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ooh. yeah, he's looking a little better this round. He has. Uh, Decent life lead now. Uh, pushing willpower to the corner. Oh, okay. That um, willpower's been getting a lot of mileage out of that uh, jump short. It's tricky. People are like expecting anything from Viper. So. Oh goodness! All right. Uh, uh. Both trying to bait something. Yeah. Nobody really. Nobody wants to commit anything right now. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, you gotta punish that. Nice. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no. Chop suey. Oh. Chop suey. Oh. oh good stuff. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Will Power blew it. Damn. <laughs> Almost had it too. Nice block. Oh man, see he's gotta The one thing I wanna see Will Power do more often is just hold the charge. He just he likes to move around just a little bit too much. Oh yeah. Like, um, he, there's moments where he's obviously should be charging, but he's not. Also. Yeah. Like after a throw or something like that. Yeah. Like you should be holding down back. Especially if you're not gonna throw right after. Cool. Yeah. Ch Chopsy's got to be a little, little careful here. Uh, oh, man, see, that's like totally easily, like, you can react to that really easily. I don't know why D or Willpower isn't doing it. This could be a kill right here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my God. Come on. All right, do it. Oh, my God. He blew it, but he gets a second chance here. Chop Suey. He's got to be careful. Oh, oh my God. He stood up. Watch your ankles, son. So uh, I'd say <laughs> Chop Suey kind of scrapes by that that time. There's some pretty pretty big uh, drops on both ends, I think. Yeah, and Willpower is you know tends to download people. So yeah, I mean that's I think every every stream we have here, we we're always talking about how like he kind of starts off slow, but then then he picks you up. Yeah, yeah exactly. He just brings it back. So we'll, we'll see what happens. As we say that, he's already got a really really strong lead right now. 
There you go. Yeah, see, I, that's that's what I was expecting to see more of last match. You're just sitting on meter. Which yeah, see, I, right there, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know, just wait for a burn kick and just up kick. You know, I, 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 with willpower, I, I want to ask him, is it intentional that he just doesn't do shit like the first match? Or does he know. just forget? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it like, come to him like, oh, shit, okay. I mean, I, I, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if he does kind of like lure his opponent into this like false sense of security, you know? Like, if you have the balls to do that, like, all right, yeah. good shit. Like, because I don't do that. I just <laughs> yeah. go like balls out. <laughs> I need all the rounds I can get. Tiger up for cutting. Exactly. Now he's bodying him. Wow. I that first round, it's like super free. Yeah, yeah done data, and he's he's about to yeah wraps up the second round just like that. That was very fast. <laughs> so definitely switched up his game plan. He was using a lot more meter, using those um, up kicks. Uh, up kicks, yeah. Charging a little bit more. Yeah, the ja jackknife, EX jackknife or something. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but up kick, up kick, whatever. Yeah. All right, so see if Chop Studio can make the same sort of adjustments. I mean, I, th I kind of feel like he's got to. Stay, maybe stay out of the air a little bit, or at least be a little bit more aware of his spacing so he doesn't run into... Maybe uh, zone a little bit more? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, willpower doesn't... Well, I guess DJs in general don't really tend to jump unless they're close range and they use that... Yeah, I mean, there's, so. really, there's really not, not too much of a need, you know, so... Nice. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Oh, man. He needs to use more of those size moves. Oh wow! Oh, no, just kicks her out of it. Holy crap, dude! Here we go. All right, do it. All right, so, all right, picks her up, and that's uh, round one. Very solid play for willpower. Very good stuff. So, uh, Chop Suey sitting on uh, about a quarter bar. That's enough to make anything make some, happen. Yeah, yeah, make something happen. Get the party started. We'll oh, yeah, there you go. Oh no! <laughs> That's what a lot of, you know, Vipers aren't good at hit confirming that kind of stuff yet. Like, there's just very few Vipers that can hit confirm off a hit Seismo, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And if they block, you know, just keep going with it. Right. Ooh. Like, that was really nice right there. I mean, DJ Ooh, is just that. a very frustrating character to play against, regardless of who you play, you know? Um, it's one of those, okay, good stuff. Oh, no, doesn't max punish. Yeah. That's, that's a shame. Oh man, he's now he's just kind of wilding out. I don't agree with bringing all that meter. Should have at least done like a medium seismo or something. You know, just save a bar just to let that fear. See if we can get a cross up. Nice block. I think he's using that crouch fear for timing for the cross up. Here, there, he just fucks him up. But, oh no. Oh my God. He threw it away. Yep. Good stuff. Yeah, so good stuff to, to Willpower Chop Suey, man. He had it. it is in his grasp. Oh, man, that's a, that's a shame. But, good, yeah, good stuff to Will. I mean, if I had to, if I had to put money on it, I would have I put it on Will anyways. So. Good stuff. All right, so who do we have? Yeah. Wait, did you already, you already played your match? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so... Uh, yeah, so uh, as I was saying earlier, for another tournament that will not be named that's going on right now, yeah. uh, we actually got a decent turnout here. We got like 20-something people, uh, like 21. And, you know, granted, like LPN isn't here and no Huda Man. Yeah. But uh, that's okay. We still got some killers. We got El Cabano Loco. We got, you know, yourself, Harrison, SF Keith, Willpower looking really strong, Joe Doug. I think most of the regulars are still here. You know, there's just yeah. a few people absent. But for the most part, I think everybody that comes all the time is here. Yeah, now we got uh, Carnby setting up. Um, He's a Rose player. He's actually really good, man. He was playing here uh, last round bout, and that was like the first time I'd seen him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Carnby CL, yeah. And, of course, Joe Dubs is back. Yeah. He was not dropping as many combos this time around, so good stuff to Joe Dubs. And then Bross. Um, it's like I said, this is the first time I'd seen him at the round bats. I'm not the best with faces, but uh, pretty sure this is his first time here. So he did pretty well. I think he was playing Rose, too. I could be mistaken. Uh, no, no, no. He was playing Yun. Excuse okay. He was playing Yun. Okay. We actually yeah. have a Yun player? Yeah. So, uh, he, he, and he um, was looking pretty strong. You know, nothing too fancy. Just uh, had really good uh, uh, space control. Really good, just, you know, uh, really strong ability to push push the other guy into the corner. I forget just getting it done, pretty much. Yeah. 
So we'll see if he can keep that going against uh, Carmi, though. Wow, okay. And uh, he's going with Chun-Li. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, every time I see Rose play a Yun, uh, they do well. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but... Uh, I mean, I guess she has... She has good normals, but... Yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't, nothing really stands out that would make that like a bad matchup for Yun, though. Yeah. You know? So, I don't know. Once again, shout out to SF Geef for uh, running the bracket tonight, a Saturday night snapback. Much appreciated. A few more faces uh, walking in. All right, so uh, Carby with uh, with an early lead here, and uh, got what? Yeah, I knew I knew he's actually from he was actually from, he's not from North America. He's from Chile. Oh, really? Yeah, and I don't know if you're, he's here like on work or school or what the deal is, but uh, the more people, the better. Yeah. Cool. So I have to. I'm not sure what Bross is like. Uh, thought process was for picking Chun Li here. Just, Chun Li's just not that good of a character, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's not like I don't feel like she can really out poke Rose. If anything, they're about even on pokes and yeah. levels, you know. So uh, they're both really annoying characters because they can both <laughs> yeah. get out really easily. Yeah. <laughs> so they're both gonna be constantly running away from each other. Ooh. Tries to reflect that. There we go. Ooh. I think you probably would have been better off doing the medium overhead. Oh, okay. A lot of people don't know the Rose matchup either. It's been like forever since this game's been out. People don't know the matchup. It's not as bad as it was. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean... It's, it's just like she just has really good pokes, man. Like yeah. any time player, you gotta player. respect her, and it's annoying. Yeah, because I, I think I think in the back of people's heads, they don't really think of her as like a top tier character. Yeah, you right? just don't so, want to respect the character. Yeah, you know? so you just kind of run into like a lot of like standing roundhouses and crouching strongs and crouching strongs, yeah, and, you know, or slide. Yeah, and uh, slowly but surely, you just kind of you know she'll whittle whittle away your your life. So, no, I think uh, like uh, how do you pronounce his name? Browse? Uh, Ross. Ross. Okay. I think Ross is pretty much. He just has to force, uh, force uh, Karn by into the corner because that's the only way he's going to get anything done. Because Rose can basically just get out for free. Yeah, like his attack or, back Yeah, playing, playing at that range isn't really going to get him anywhere. Oh man, yeah, he's having a real hard time, like just figuring out like how to approach this. Karnby is playing very solid, man. Yeah, see, there's the back dash. Oh. That hurts too. <laughs> Her heel went like through him, yeah. dude. <laughs> Ooh, good stuff. Man, that, uh, that focus attack has seen a lot of mileage out of that. Jade Ash showing up. God of KOF. Ooh, ooh okay. It's a nice counter hit. Yeah, nice shoulder. And uh, he's getting the positioning. He's just just doesn't have the... He's not pressing the right buttons. Yeah. <laughs> That's not all there is to it. There you go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, nasty stuff. So, yeah. I mean, he's definitely, he looks really solid, but. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying earlier. He knows, he knows what he's doing, but he's just having a hard time nice uh, block. with the matchup. Just like that. Oh, my gosh. And that's that. Wow. Uh, very, very quick match. Good stuff. Bross just kind of like smiling like, shit, dude. I need to get the laugh. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> that was that. Yeah. So uh, uh, I don't know SF Keith. Uh, I don't know if he's playing right now or he's gonna play on stream. Not sure who we got going on here. Uh, pelican. We have a pelican sign in here. Yeah. So uh, we're actually makes pretty good progress, at least in the winners bracket. Uh, about to round three here. I got about about another hour left in the tournament. I'd say hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, once it gets into losers, it goes pretty quick. Yeah, I think I think it goes I think it goes faster when I'm not running the bracket and doing the stream at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what helps a lot. <laughs> I know you know all about that. You, yeah, uh, you did uh, Lost in Space this past uh, Sunday. Yeah, it's a new new tournament series at Starbase. Uh, hopefully, I can make it to the next one. Probably not though, because that's I, I have that's like pretty much the schedule. 
<laughs> like I'm doing it pretty much when you're gone because that's <laughs> yeah. when I have like a well, chance to use the channel. But until until like I don't even know until like October or something. I'm I don't even know. Like I'm done done data. So all right, it's anyway. fun though. Yeah, no, it's uh, it sounds like everybody had a really good time. Okay, so we have revive versus uh, SF Keith. Yeah, my schedule is blown up for 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 uh, quite 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 some time, but hopefully I can make it out of the next one. That'd be cool. Or probably, probably not the next one, but the one after that. Yeah, there's. I, I mean, I have no reason why there's not going to be a few more. So at least. Yeah, it sounded like it went really well. So. And Southtown, home of the DJs, man. There's so many DJs here. Home of the DJs and SF Geeks, just trying to send them all home. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like, he's, he's like. The SF Geef is has has gold gold star attendance for the Rambass, dude. I don't, Pretty know, much. I don't yeah. think he's missed like <laughs> one. Yeah, I I can't remember the last time he's like not been yeah, here. It's just like it's like a life mission to destroy <laughs> DJ. Stuff and now. he always gets put with these crappy matchups too. Yeah, no, it's like, like a like Terry or like DJs or like some super boring ass matchups. <laughs> just like sit there. It's like oh, I'm just gonna tough it out, man. <laughs> this the sad life of SF Geef. I would like to see a mini documentary made about him and his. <laughs> In his life, just waking up in the morning on like Saturday morning, like, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I ate my life. Oh shit. <laughs> so he's doing all right right now. He gets, to, he gets going to school. to school, so he doesn't have to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Tresno! I didn't think just walk up SPD. Yeah. He's Ooh, Ooh, good stuff. Chop this bicep. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. Yo, if you guys slap uh, chop. Revelations is filled with geefs, dude. Oh, is just it? Yeah, man. Geefs just tearing up everybody. I watched a few matches, saw like uh, Van Geef versus Ricky and a few few others. I was pre preparing for today and stuff, so I wasn't able to catch too much of it. The so. geef wave is back. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, we got okay. We got corner pressure and full meter. This is yeah, gonna be bad. This, this is looking pretty pretty similar to that last round, honestly. Same same positioning and. You know, pretty strong lead from uh, SF Keep here. Eric doing he's really He's playing really strong, too. I mean, he's yeah. guessing right on those reads. <laughs> this is this is pretty much done. Yeah, all right. Um, oh, I think he can stand uh, stand short and EX green hand that. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know how punishable it is. This is a good stuff. SF Keep really controlling the match there. Full power, like he not only could he not keep him out, he just couldn't get to the other side of the screen either. Both those rounds. You mean re revive? Oh, revive. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean he's pretty much just on the left side the whole time, and usually that uh, for me that marks me when uh, I feel like I'm doing good. Oh yeah. Just keeping uh, keeping myself on one side of the screen. If I feel like I can kill them before I get to the other side of the screen, I feel like I'm doing a good job. Oh but, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, you know, I, I think a lot of like, definitely like newer players, it's an uh, aspect they overlook. And I was talking about this earlier, just just the spacing, you know. And it's like your goal isn't like, I mean, it is like you want to land combos and stuff like that. That's not, it's not that it's not important, but really, it's just the positioning on screen. If you work the other guy to the corner, then you reduce his options. And once his options are reduced, then it's just much easier to, re to read them, you know. So yeah. It's, it's that kind of stuff you have to be aware aware of. There you go, nice SPD. Yeah, good scoop. Ooh. Man, I didn't think I would kill him. Very, uh, very commanding series of rounds here from SFG. Keep it up. Revive just trying to give him some more room. He kind of hasn't really done that the first three rounds. He's kind of just giving up his space the whole time. Oh, we got to anti air that. Ooh. Yeah, man, he's just been getting yeah. scooped. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow, yeah. again. Scoop. Oh, man. <laughs> Scoop. All oh, right. Okay, all right. We're in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Just kill him. You just eat a screen hand. I think it's a little late to be using meter. I mean, uh, I feel like the time for blowing meter was Yeah. Like, Two rounds ago, but ooh. He's trying to hold it down, gets some good pokes in there. 
Ooh. Oh, can't believe that wasn't it. Just one like green hand. Yeah, yeah. there it is. So uh, good stuff. SFG advances. He's apparently a fraud. Is he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh man. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, it would be awesome if, if Revive just decked him right there, just <laughs> <laughs> right in the face. He's talking shit. He's like, yeah, you want to you wanna fucking play or what? <laughs> oh, he's smiling. Okay, sorry. Marcos, El Camano Loco. I guess I'm up. You're up? Okay, good luck, man. So uh, Harrison's going to go up against uh, Bad Intent. Uh, he's very, very skilled uh, Street Fighter Cross tech end player. And... Uh, he was very disappointed that we weren't continuing to run uh, cross tech in, in the in the Rambats. But, you know, it was just hard to keep it going. There weren't, weren't a lot of entries. Maybe we'll try it again sometime. I know a lot of people are having fun with the new characters. Cody, Lars, Guy, Dudley. But uh, if players aren't coming out, what, what can you do? How the hell are you still on 10? I feel retarded. Uh, I guess that's right. It looks weird. Whatever. Okay. So, yeah. Harrison is there on the right side of your screen. Bad in 10 on the left. Standard button check. Uh, this actually marks winner's round three as well. That last match was the last round of winner's round two. So, uh, once again, makes some pretty good progress. Got uh, three, four stations rock and rolling here. Lots of matches going on off stream. And uh, we will have uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3 uh, after after Street Fighter. So, probably around like So, um, yeah, I think they already did the button checks. Harrison, uh, playing, playing Cody, as always. Longtime Cody player. Uh, that intent, I, I have not actually seen him play Street Fighter 4. You might have in the past, one of the Rambats may off stream, but I've not seen him play. Stick with Ryu. Uh, I think that is punishable, but I don't know by what. That intent, execution looking uh, pretty, pretty on point so far. Not really giving too much uh, for Harrison to work with right now. Oh, okay. Harrison working his way in. Set up a lot of different frame traps here. And uh, seems to be working out for him. Oh, wow. That whiff. And uh, Harrison with the stun. Good stuff. Oh, let it rip. Bad intent with uh, these these life lead now, but uh, Harrison has enough meter to bring it back pretty quickly. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, and it's going to finish him off. Yeah. Got up with the uh, EX Zonk in the corner and sealed the deal with Ultra 2. Ultra 2 is that first part will uh, juggle. So you use it uh, as a way to finish rounds. Like if they jump in, you can just throw it out there. They'll land on it. Uh, Harrison looking pr pretty comfortable in this um, second match. Bad of 10. He hasn't been playing bad at all, but uh, Harrison is playing a little bit better. Good 
jump roundhouse, so good from Cody. Oh. Alright. The overhead. Oh, okay. Good sweep. Wow. And just in the nick time. ZX is about to let loose with those EX rocks. So, uh, bad, in bad intent showing signs of life here with that first round, but uh, Harrison. Trying to trying to prove there's a fluke. Looking real strong with a perfect second round, second match. Harrison on match point. Ooh. Oh, huh, FADC backwards. I don't know if that was intentional or what the deal was. All right, Harrison with the uh, EX Ruffian. Get himself in there. Bad intense, got to turn the juice right now. On the brink of death. Nice EX Fireball. Fishing around with those uh, low forwards. Doesn't really have any meters to make too much happen. And uh, just like that, Harrison takes it with the uh, back strong. As I think most of you people, most of you watching right now who play this game frequently know, back strong. It's very good anti-air with Cody. It sounds like Kurikiba's up next. Let's probably get Harrison back on the mic here shortly. Okay, so uh, yeah, Joe Dubs sitting down. So yeah, it's Joe Dubs and let's see here, Kurikiba. Okay, this should be a very good match. Ooh, this should be a good match. Yeah, you know, uh, so Joe Dubs, he was saying that uh, he didn't want to get um, matched up against Kurikiba in this tournament, or at least not first round. But so what can you do this deep into the tournament, you know, round, round three? Uh, he said he was going to go um, – so he was going to go home and study DJ tactics, uh, but he said it, instead he got high and uh, forgot. Which is a lot of NorCal's <laughs> problems. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we'll see <laughs> if uh, playing so much Blaz Green will we'll, we'll hurt him in this, <laughs> this matchup. <laughs> oh, so that, that's what people are playing now. Not Blaz Blue anymore. <laughs> nice. The expansion or whatever. Super <laughs> Street Fighter 4's Arcade Edition. Uh, DLC on the street corner, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So everybody's brought brought signs. They got Pelican, Fraud, all kinds of stuff. What's going on with the camera? All right, there we go. All right, so, uh, yeah, DJ versus uh, Dudley. Joe Dubba. Let's see if he, you know, learned anything from the last time they played. Or just more executional stuff too, because he's yeah. dropping stuff. Yeah. So uh, he said he, he's looking a lot stronger uh, in this rambat. Because the last one, yeah, he was dropping a lot of combos, and he told me last rambat that this time he's going to play a lot more solid. And so far, it's been true. So did he lose the Kurikiba keep last time? I don't, I don't yes. remember. He it did. was pretty okay. bad too. But I mean, again, it was okay. like um, it was executional stuff. He just wasn't yeah, on point with his combos. Yeah, he was getting that's those cool. counter hits, those setups, but he just wasn't converting. Right. Okay. So uh, just doing doing a button check here. Yeah, no. Er, early his past couple matches he's had on stream were just I don't know it was one or two. He was he was hitting most everything. He had a few drops here and there, but it wasn't major stuff, you know. He yeah. was hitting like uh, I think he was hitting like the overhead and the crouch jab and and uh, a lot. I mean, of the, the, that's really all you need to know with Dudley. Yeah, like, I guess so. That he, I mean, he's yeah. an executional heavy character if you want him to be. If you don't want him to be, then you could just do you know his simple bread and butters and not have to really worry about. You know combos and yeah. stuff. It's just they're just not that hard. Yeah. He has a few one-frame links, but I mean, so does everybody in this game. Yeah. For the most part. Right. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was a tricky cross-up. 
Wow, he just let that rip. Kurikiba, I think, you know, one of, the, one of the NorCal players, maybe just doesn't get the respect he deserves, but he also hasn't done it like a ton of traveling, I think. Uh, but he's a very solid TK player. He's number playing, one, dude. Number yeah, one online. Yeah, he, is he number one online? I don't know oh, anymore. Okay. Um, he's been playing, you know, since like vanilla days. Or, well, not vanilla, but since DJ came yeah, out. Yeah, since DJ came out. He played Blanca, right? Oh, he I, did play yeah, Blanca. Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. So, uh, the same lame type of character. Yeah. Ooh. Trying to get in there with those duckings and forward pierces. Ooh, wow. Okay, there you Kiba go. just doing a random slide. All right, good stuff from Joe Dubs. That barely evens it out, though. Good throw. And uh, Kurikiba sitting on a ooh, ooh, full ooh. stick of butter, but it, I don't know if it's going to matter this round. Let's see if he has anything. Yeah, ooh, okay. Ooh, there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, convert on that. Yeah. Okay, good. He still won that round. All right, good stuff. That's pretty, I mean, like, people fall for that, but you just got to learn to look out for that kind of stuff. It's really not that tricky. Wow. Scooped him right out of the slide. Nice. Right. Safe jump. Ooh. Okay. I, I don't think Joe Dubs was even ready for that. There you go. You know when, when people, like, whiff Ooh. like a... Oh, no. Okay. When they whiff, like, an uppercut right in front of your face, and you're, like, not ready for it, you're like, yeah. wow, you just did that. <laughs> you just like when Viper does the stupid burn kick, like, not the air one. It's like, woo, and it goes <laughs> yeah. the other side, and you get grabbed, and it's like, wow, it's like, the unsafest thing ever. Yeah. I can't even punish it. Wow, Joe Dubs looking very strong. Ooh. Yo, Blaz Green. Oh, shit. Blaz Green helping him out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's a win for it. Oh my oh. god. Alright, so if you can. Oh, oh wow! Let's <laughs> go, Dudley Hitbox. Dudley has one of those weird hitboxes where, like, uh, a lot of standing attacks won't hit him because really? he crouches really low. Ooh. But yeah, overall, Joe Dubs looking much stronger than. Uh, the last Rambat who's that. He's getting in there, and I mean, he's choosing his times to get in, too. He used to be, be a uh, Zangief player in uh, Vanilla way back in the day. So he switched over to Dudley just because he thinks his combos are fresh and played Dudley in third strike, so. Dudley's a sick character, man. Yeah. Nice punish. I guess DJ is standing. Like oh, a wow. Good reactions. Give him a big fat uppercut. Ooh. You never know with those types of types of ultras versus. Oh wow! Oh, that's so smart. Got the juggle too. Oh wow! Use the ex. Yo, let's go ultra. <laughs> oh. Wow. wow! Good stuff. But yeah, you never know against like those types of ultras uh, against like um, Sonic Boom type attacks that are ever gonna hit. But I guess DJ's is a little slower than. Yeah, Giles, it's right? a little slower. You yeah. definitely can react to it. Wasn't enough though, wasn't enough to uh, get him the round there. Nice MP jumps right there. Wants to make sure he doesn't get hit by something. Uh. Okay, that time. Right, Joe Dubs turn up the heat now. Ooh, this is gonna be close to stun. Oh my god. Yep. Ooh, styled on. Flat, flat, flat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, just give him a little teasers. Yeah. It's getting warmed up, you know? <laughs> Working out the wrists a little bit. Take some hits in that Boss Green. <laughs> 40 pounds long. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this, the chat. The chat's like, Thunderbolt? I'm like, yeah, man. Dude, Joe, Joe Dubs is a Thunderbolt master, man. He you know when you see a serious Dudley when they use Thunderbolt? Yeah, yeah, they play this character a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. see, he's not, he's not converting, but he's getting it anyway. It's, he's still looking a lot better than he was last, like, two weeks ago. He's not hitting everything, but he's hitting enough to, you know, get some some good damage in there. Oh no! Nice. Oh, there you okay. go. Wow. Oh, I wonder if he can sweep ever. I don't know. I know nothing about this character. Yeah, really. I don't know. All right, gets a throw. Good stuff. Joe Dubs, not afraid. Guess I'm gonna play Joe Dubs. That sh that should be interesting. Yeah, you say you don't really have that much Dudley. Well, I mean, you play I play Ramin, and I play the character too. So and Ramin, uh, Ramin's actually a very good Dudley in my he opinion. Is. Um, I know people give him a lot of shit. I mean, he's like a casual monster, but like always chokes it up in tournaments. He's that landmine, man. Yeah, but he's he's a. I think he's a very strong player. If you ask me.
So uh, we'll see what we have up next. Eight nine five. All right, so let's see here. So uh, yeah, you'll be fighting Kurikiba. Then we have uh, El Camano Loco versus SA Willpower. I wonder if that's the, no, okay. Are they playing off stream or something? Oh, they are, okay. Well, D Joe Dubs just won, so I'll be playing Joe Dubs. Yeah, okay, and then, yeah, you'll be playing Joe Dubs. And then, yeah, El Camano Loco, Willpower, they're playing off stream. And then we have SF Geese versus Carnby. That should be good. Yeah, this should be a good one. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of progress in the loser bracket too. That's awesome. Man, I'm hyped. Tournaments that go quickly that have good matches are like the best things in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, SF Geef on the uh, right side of your screen there. We really should give him a gold star. You need a like, attendant sheet here at Southtown. Let's get started. He's going to get the title right. workhorse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, very, very, we're very fortunate to have SF Geef here. He's part of our community here at Southtown. Runner brackets. He always shows up. It's like the first guy here playing. Uh, he's never afraid to commentate. All around uh, good guys. So always yeah. wants to learn too. Oh, definitely. So yeah, this is the last match in winners round three, and then we'll uh, I guess we'll have two more matches, the winners semis, and then we'll run some uh, losers. I guess take a short break and then we'll switch over to Marvel. So get hype. Actually, I am gonna play Marvel tonight. Yeah, I kind of want to enter it. Yeah, I think I think I am. I was. Uh, I don't know. I, I think we're at the point where okay, so I can do the hyper grab loop now. I can't tell you how fucking hype I am because I can do hyper grab with Mag Magneto. <laughs> like you, you, people, you're, have no you're automatically godlike. Well, I, I I now I, I didn't know that you had a plink it. Now it's like really easy. I didn't know you had a plink it. Like I was getting the super jump. But I didn't know you had a plink it to get. Uh, the air dash down forward and a fierce, but now I can do that. I'm like, holy shit, I can actually like play this character how he's meant to be played. So I'm gonna see if I can do that in tournament today, but we'll see. In any, any case, Marvel's a little later. Right now, uh, I'm just gonna say this is probably gonna be one of the better matches of the tournament. Carnby is proven to be a real threat coming from Chile. Uh, I don't know how well he did in the last tournament, but he did pretty well, and right now he is just mauling SFP. There you go. Oh wow, it just holds up. Wow, can't really get anything done. Yeah, SF Geef's just having a real, real hard time getting in. Tries to hit a lariat with that Stan Fierce, or uh, Stan Roundhouse, I think. Ooh, okay, there you go. There you go. Wow, got the cross up. But... All right, so this is. Yeah, Carmi just doing a good job. Of oh no! Keeping his distance, you know. Oh, wow! What's that? Jump back around. Us? Okay. Oh. oh no, man! You just gotta get that combos. Ooh. I mean, obviously, Carmi is a you know solid player. You just gotta you know get those combos when you get the chance. You can't really yeah. go for resets, you know. Wow, that was weird. I was going to get the full screen. Oh man, I think you can EX green hand punish that. Just gotta watch for ultra, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's going to hit him, but yeah. Oh wow, okay. Huh. Yeah, too far away. A little too far? Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Try, I think I'm, I know he tried to EX green hand. Yeah, Carmi with that first one. Yeah, this guy's a menace, man. He's, uh, he's hungry. So keep, we'll it's stick with keep. There you go. Oh. Wow. Big damage. <laughs> SF Geef, not afraid. Uh, just like that, 10 seconds in. Yeah. Army has about, what, like 15% left. Don't give up your guard, though. I mean, he's, he's definitely going to try and get in somehow. And that time? No way. Oh. Yeah. So what's the deal? I mean, what do you got? Yeah, no, it's just really slow. Okay. I'll just use the EX green hand. Just kill him. Don't let this drag out. 
Her fireballs do a lot of damage. And if he gets a combo in his super right here, that could be it. So, Eric's still got to be kind of careful. He just needs a little bit of chip, but... Oh. Oh. And you just... Just screen here. Just do it. Empty jump, the screen hand. Oh! There you okay. go. Okay. Okay. Alright. Farm BS full super, but SF Geef has the first round, so. Yeah. And he looked really dominant in that last one. That's always good with uh, playing against a, a, a super dependent character like Rose or Dalsim. Yeah. When you take that first round and they have super and they have to burn that super to take that second round. Oh, yeah, then they end up in a real bad yeah. position in the third round. Yeah, I mean, you got like probably full meter stock and, you know, they're stuck with no damage. Right. So Carnby doing a pretty good job, oh, though, my. of um, conserving his meter. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. All right, Ooh. so here comes the mix-up. Green hand. For the uh, crouch jab. Ooh! Okay, do the combo. Nice. Go. Good stuff. SF key falling down for South Sound. Trying to see what's going on off stream. Very curious. Is this? Oh, okay. So willpower off stream uh, one against uh, El Cabana Loco. Really interesting. Okay, and then uh, Marcos is playing Martin off stream right now. I haven't seen Martin in a while. Links from the South Bay. Maybe he came with Marcos. I'm not sure. And uh, that's crazy. So winner of this will go on to fight willpower. And uh, I think we, yeah, so Carmi changed his Ultra to Soul Satellite, which I think is a smart move. U Ultra 1 wasn't really doing anything for him. Yeah, I mean, it, it really wasn't helping him with those jump-ins, so. Yeah, not at all. And I think it was getting, getting him into more tr more trouble, if anything. So at least so Soul Satellite will uh, give him a little bit of breathing room. Yep. Or, you know, if he guesses a jump-in with the Ultra, at least it's going to be safe. Yeah. There you go. Just going to back dash. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't back dash. Oh, good stuff. That actually juggles, so if you're close enough, you can get a her throw off of it. Wow, saves it. Oh, nice. I think it was a jump back because I know Ultra would have grabbed her. He probably heard the heard the 360s and wanted to get the hell out of there. All right, so Carby's on uh, match point. That's a geek. I want to see more of what we saw uh, that last match, where he had like a lot, a lot of aggression. He's trying right now, I think. Ooh. Just, oh no! Tried to do something fancy. Dang! Oh my gosh! She's wow! Picked apart. So. Good stuff. That was a good match, though. Both of those guys played pretty well. Uh, I think I think Eric SF keeps just started to unravel a little bit towards the end, and uh, I think Carmi putting him on putting him on ice, going back to the character select screen, I mean, switching his ultra. You know, yeah. SF Keith has been playing really lame, and like he just hasn't been showing it in that matchup. Right. I th oh, okay. So we're we're just gonna go right into this uh, this match. Carm B versus Willpower. I guess they're just going to... Okay, so we're in winner semis now. Uh, winner of this will be sitting pretty and winner's finals. Very cool. So, uh, I don't know if these guys fought last time or what. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Willpower deals with this Rose. It's probably going to be. A, I, I'm kind of. I'm guessing it's going to be sort of this long, drawn-out match. I think know? so too. The battle has begun. Oh. So uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. I know. Uh, I know there's a lot of other stuff going on tonight. Oh, cool. Looks like Crispy Tacos is on his way for uh, Marvel. Oh, he's actually going to. Might actually get here on time, too. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to people getting here on time. Yeah. 
I'm gonna check in, check in Twitter, but okay. Yeah, so these guys, looks like they're gonna get into it here. I think they already did a button check. Yeah, shaking hands. Here we go. Willpower sticking with Ultra 2. I think he's just one of those Ultra 2, you know, mains. Kind of yeah, like Vance's I mean, Ultra 1 main, even though, like, I mean, some matchups, I think you just, you have to pick a certain Ultra. Yeah. Willpower, yeah, he's, I mean, he does drop it from time to time, which, I don't know, I want to say it's unacceptable, but he's been playing, like, DJ for a long ass time, you know, and he still yeah. kind of drops it, which is unfortunate, but not exactly the easiest Ultra to land, I think, with all things considered, like, it got a little easier in AE, I think, but, yeah. Uh, I know Kurikiba, he likes Ultra 1 because he has that chip out. Yeah. Uh, I want to call it a gimmick. I mean, a strategy, I guess. He's <laughs> like, also good at uh, saving his super meter, too. Yeah. Oh, you can punish that. So both these guys pretty much going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Willpower being a little more conservative with his meter, though. Oh, oh that was so smart. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I killed everything, dude. The knee. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. Killed the EX uppercut, <laughs> killed the boss. Wow. Just tapped her in the face. Wow, okay. This is basically his match to lose right now. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Good, good stuff. Yeah. You definitely don't want to lose that round. After something like that, you know, it just happens so well in your favor. Pick up the pace. Fight. Barnby, it kind of looks like he's trying to get in there now. Getting a little bit impatient. Good, yeah, good cross up. Yeah, Will playing very aggressive now. I like it. Nice. Yeah, he, has a, he has a life lead now. He knows there's really, you know, he doesn't have to take any risks now, so he can just kind of chill out. Harmby, on the other hand, needs to make something happen pretty quick. Throw an Ace Fireball. There you go. Oh, wow, just jumped right over it. Nice. Oh, okay. Just gotta watch out, though. Yeah. Oh, look at the hitbox on that. It's crazy. The foot's not even anywhere near her face. <laughs> she got overpowered by the odor of his feet, bro. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Willpower is looking really strong in that last match. See if he can keep it up. I mean, if if anything's going to happen, I mean, I assume he's going to win now because usually he has a hard time, you know, in the first game, but he kind of mauled him. And now he's got uh, two whole games to work with. Yeah. He needs to do something, wake up. Like, just to prove that he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's like the final piece here. Kind of get, get Carmi scared to do anything uh, against his wake up. But yeah, Car Carmi with the oh, lead now. Oh man, you gotta anti-air that. Ooh. Nice. So it's in the corner. Wow, that was that was weird. yeah. Okay. Oh man, that foot again. Here we go. One mix up. I don't know. Okay. Burning that meter. Ah, uh, no, it's over. Uh, yeah. Man, he should have probably Whoa. thrown a fireball, FADC'd it. Oh, yeah. And get then, in. Uh, yeah, and get in. Like, yeah. I don't know. DJ doesn't really have high low, I don't think, so. I think that was basically his only bet. Tries to punish that back dash. Nice. All right. Let's even keep him in the corner. Full power still ahead on meter. Oh, no. Yeah, willpower kind of kind of unraveling here. Yeah, I don't know. He, he looked very strong in that last match. Now he's trying to make something happen, but... Ooh. Too low. Ooh, wow, wow, picked her up, man. Yeah.
Yeah, that's a punish. Oh, nice tag. <laughs> the orb's still active, too. He's got one more. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Or it dissipates. There wow. you go. Wow, that was crazy. Carmi says, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going out without a fight. It's not going to be that easy. See if DJ or uh, see if Willpower can you know start doing the same stuff he was doing in the first game. He kind of stopped doing it. Yeah. And he still hasn't done any wake up attack at all. Right. Oh. I mean he's done uh, EX machine gun blow, but or you know EX up punches, but it just really that's not really one of his good options for wake up. There you go. Nice. Yo. Bye bye bye. Wow. Match stance tag. Again. Okay. Yeah, this looks very, very similar to that last round, but. Oh no. Wow, uh, I know he hit him out of there. The EX uh, Sonic Boom or whatever. Wow, nice jump over that yeah. fireball. <laughs> oh my god. Man, he's got to just do, you know, EX Red Kicks or something on Wake Up. I mean, I'm just having, I'm having a hard time, like, understanding what happened. You know, he looked so strong that first match, and now he's on the ropes. Carby. It's been pretty much in complete control these past two matches. Good anti air. Harvey just doing a really good job of controlling space. Pretty much. It's always been doing the whole time. Yep. Wow, okay, Carmi going in. Willpower, this is his uh, one chance to really turn this around. Get the ultra. All right, picks her up. Yep. And it's the start of something. Carmi has full ultra now. And Ooh, two okay. meters. Willpower with the throw. Oh, big punish. Is it up? Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. That was a really good match, though. That was... That was really well played by Carmi, but both both players were right there. Wow. I think I'm up? Yeah, you, you, it's got to be you. And um, who is it? Uh, Joe Dubs? Or Joe Dubs, yeah. All right, good, good luck, Harrison. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, sorry guys, I'm like reading, reading the internet right now. There's like so much drama going on, it's crazy. We're just, we're just bunkered down here in Southtown doing our thing. This uh, should be a very good match though, Joe Dubs versus Harrison. Looking at some gifts online. Let's get started. Fight. Oh, it looks like hero heroic. Just rolled through. So okay, so they did the uh, the button checks. Uh, it's Twitch TV slash iPlay Winner. Yeah. I need to get iPlayWinner.tv going again. Okay, I've been slacking. All right, so yeah, Dudley versus Cody. This is gonna be a slobber knocker, as they say. A lot of close range melee attacks. Lots of punches to the face. 
I expect a few stuns on both sides. Should be a good one, so we'll see. Let's get started. Fight. All right, so getting right into it. Joe Dub's been uh, has been playing very aggressive in his matches. Probably have uh, Marcos versus SF Geef next on stream. Looks like. What's up? Yeah, man, he's he's in there. He's from Chile. <laughs> yeah. Marcos El Cabano Loco talking about Carby. Carby making. Uh, he almost beat you. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, if you want to hop on, sure, man. We're gonna get El Cabano Loco on the mic and uh, chat a little bit about this this match we got going on right now. Oh, who uh, is it? Joe Dubs versus uh, Harrison. Oh, this could be a sick Yeah, match. I, was, I was saying it's like a lot of like melee attacks in your face, kind of like I expect a few stuns here and there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not, not, oh the, not the pretty, you know. It's going to be so. a stun fest. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this one for sure. Yeah, so uh, Joe Dubs, uh, again, you know, He's been playing pretty aggressive this entire tournament. Uh, his combos have been it w have been looking a lot better today than they were uh, last Rambat. Yeah, yeah, so most definitely. He's been a little more consistent. Much, much more. So, yeah. Harrison, oh wow, oh man, they're playing chicken. Yeah. Joe Dubs should have let it rip, but it's all right. So, it's anybody's game. And that's oh, a, that's a big punish. And okay, wow. I was I wasn't sure if he's still in the air. Yeah, or not. yeah. I know. I thought so too. I was like, uh, I don't know if that's gonna get all of it right there. So that's an interesting decision from Joe Dubs to do. Uh, he didn't really need it. There's no reason to really take a risk like that. I don't know what the deal was, but uh, yeah, good, good news for Harrison either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he plays very risky style of Dudley yeah. for sure. Like first time I saw him play Dudley, like uh, well, I guess I'm going up. Okay. But, like one more thing before I go. Yeah. Like I saw him play FFA. I was like, wow, this guy does not give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah. Yeah>, know, <laughs> seriously. Though. I mean, that's yeah, that's definitely yeah. always been his style. Is, yeah, is, uh, I think that's the way Dudley should be played. Oh, absolutely, you know? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right, so okay. I gotta go play my match against SFP. Okay, all right, right. good luck, man. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, yeah, well, it looks like Mark is gonna play off stream, actually. Uh, in the meantime, Harrison with a uh, decent lead, but it can disappear very quickly against Dudley. One close roundhouse to EX Machine Gun Blow. To wrap this up, Harrison. Oh, got him with the EX on. Good stuff. So overall, both players playing very well. Just a few uh, suspect decisions on Joe Dubs in. Very close either way. And uh, Joe Dubs thinking. Ends up sticking with Dudley, Ultra 2. Joe Dubs again with a life deficit. Trying his best to push Harrison in the quarter. Gets gets something started, but Harrison's defense very good right now. Ooh, good zonk. Ooh, forward roundhouse and roughing kick. Harrison with the first round. And the second match. See how bad he wants to uh, close this out. Uh, winner of this match goes on to play uh, Carm BCL in uh, winner's finals. Wow, uh, FADC is a bad spray to a EX Ruffian kick. And uh, wow, Dudley's got to be real close to stun right now. Joe Dubs backing off a little bit. Cool, okay. Okay. EX criminal upper and go safety jump throw. And uh, Harrison takes it. He moves on. Um, let's see what we got going on in this bracket. So I think we're going to go to losers. Okay, so, so we're just going to go right into winners finals. That's fine. That's fine. 
So Harris is going to stay on, and it's going to be Carmby. Yeah, Carmby versus Harrison. I think that's how they're running it. So shout outs to uh, Martin in the back, uh, running the bracket for us today, along with SF Geek. Much appreciated, guys, if you're watching the replays. I do thank you. Shout outs to the YouTube monsters. I know the stream monsters get a lot of love, but shout outs to YouTube monsters. You guys watching on YouTube right now. We got uh, almost 25,000 subscribers to date. Appreciate all the support. Try my best to get these matches up as quick as possible for everybody. Got the guy in the house wearing his 8 art shirt. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to see you. And uh, this next match should be very interesting. Carmby CL, winner's finals versus Harrison. Shout out to Chile. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> EMP Season Heckler asks, Hey Haunts, is there a World Broadcasting Heroes Episode 3? There actually is, but it hasn't been edited. And I, I feel like we should upload it, but it's just, I don't know. I got so sidetracked with all these other things going on that uh, we didn't have a chance. And that was back in like a April or something. So I don't know if it's really going to be relevant if we upload it now, but it might, it might still be interesting just for people to look back on, see if we can get that edited and uploaded. But... Uh, I don't want to neglect the stream monsters either. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I know there's uh, a, few, a few other tournaments going on right now, to say the least. So thanks for watching. Um, if you can, do me a favor and uh, post it up on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Let people know we got Marvel coming up next, probably within the next like, 30, 40 minutes. Again, we're making pretty good progress uh, with the Street Fighter tournament. And uh, just looking at the bracket, it looks like we've got a handful of uh, losers matches. And then uh, we'll be switching over. In the meantime, winners finals two out of three. I'm trying to think uh, what, how much Rose experience Harrison has. Not a ton of Rose players in NorCal. Off the top of my head, I know uh, Joe Flores, CBS Four. The man behind uh, TNT and Milpitas Gauntlet plays Rose. Very, very talented Rose player. But besides that, uh, nobody else really comes to mind. Oh, Harrison just with a crouch strong to close it out. Carby at that point, you know, said. You know what, I gotta activate the Ultra to try to make something happen here, but uh, didn't really work out for him. Both players going into round two with similar amounts of meter. Carmi has proven that he can come back. He got mauled pretty bad by uh, Willpower a couple rounds ago and brought it back, but he's gotta figure something out here. Harrison, even though it's about even alive, Harrison I think is pretty much dominating the pace of the match here. Oh, just for that crouch fierce. Oh, Carby with slight lead. Har Harrison locked and loaded. Ultra two and uh, two bars, so he can do a lot of damage. Oh, and that's it. Okay, wow, he didn't ultra. Interesting. Maybe we just wasn't ready for it, and he takes the first match. Great punish from Harrison. Uh, okay, so Harrison up one. Uh, see Carby going back to character select. I don't know if he's going to switch Ultra or what the situation is here. And I looked away for a moment there, so I'm not sure what happened. Let's see. Well, it's stuck with the same Ultra, so I'm just trying to buy a little bit of time. Okay, good jump in roundhouse, but wasn't able to convert. Oh. 
Harrison once again just dominating. Using that EX Zonk into Ultra 2. Looks like that works uh, pretty much anywhere on the, uh, on the screen. I thought that might have been corner only, but uh, not a bad way to finish off the other guy. They're low on life, so all you Cody players out there, take note. Ooh. All right, Soul Satellite just burning like all of his meter. Just, I think he's he's getting visibly frustrated here. Carby is just not. He hasn't really found an, an opening. He's got a few uh, good pokes here and there, but nothing nothing major to really shake Harrison. And he's on the ring of death here, so. I don't really see Harrison unraveling. Yeah, Harrison knows he really doesn't have to do anything too risky. Actually, he can if he wants to, if he wants to potentially prolong this match, but, and he's uh, back strong to finish things off. So good stuff to Harrison. He moves on to grand finals. Carnby still lives to see another day. He'll be waiting, I think, in like losers finals or semis somewhere in there. Um, okay, yeah, no problem. So Harrison, uh, so he's got to drop drop the kids off at the pool, but he will be back. And it looks like we have Joe Dubs up and up again. Oh, okay, this should be a very very good match. Joe Dubs versus uh, El Cabano Loco, I think. What? Well, wait. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So uh, Street Fighter tournament is. Hey, 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 hey! Uh, wait, wait until the Street Fighter tournament's done. I'll come look at it. Yeah. Is that okay? Oh okay. Uh, all right. Huh. So this should be a good match, though. Shoot ups versus El Cabano Loco. This is uh, losers. Ba -ba -ba. This is losers. Losers quarters. And uh, let's see what's going on here. They're sitting on their joystick stuff. Whoa, we got a blurry camera. Okay. Sorry guys, just read my, read my phone, get blown up by some texts. It's the battle of the century! Fight! Alright, yeah, just uh, they're doing a little butt check here. Uh, Joe Dubs, Dudley, El Cabana Loco, Vega. Shaking hands. Uh, so last Rambat, um, Marcos almost lost to Joe Dubs, is, if I recall correctly. Uh, I think they're talking about it right now, actually. So, Let's see if Joe Dubs picked up anything. Let's see if the outcome is any different. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Yeah. I, I have no idea. I don't know who that is. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like some of, the, some of the players are MIA right now. I get a couple of loser, other loser matches going. Once the uh, loser's bracket needs, needs a little work, but uh, like I said, we're almost there. So. All right, so Marcos with the early lead in this first round. Gets a focus attack. Doing, doing very well. Harrison back. What's up, man? Yo. Hey, actually, hold, hold it down for one second. All right, I'll be right back.
Alright, so I don't... Is it, uh... Is it still... I don't know if it's 1-0. But, I mean, this is probably going to be a pretty mad uh, matchup for Dudley, just because Vegas hitbox is uh, really wide. And once he gets that crouching short in, it's really impossible to, you know, scare him with the throw, because he's so far away already. Ooh. Not as a press tag, and he can't combo after that. See if Joe Dubs can do anything. Ooh! Wow, just do it. I think he might have tried to Ultra. Oh, it doesn't do Max Punish. It would have killed him. See if Joe Dubs can do anything. Tries to do something with that Ford Pierce. I'd say it's about like, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I know it's probably. I know it's negative 2 on block, the Ford Pierce. But I mean, if you meet it, it's probably going to be like 0 or plus 1. So, uh, sorry, I stepped away from the mic. Marcos won the first one? Or? Yes, he okay, did. Okay. I just make sure all our Marvel people are taken care of. I know there's some people who aren't here yet. So I just want to make sure they're in the bracket. Marcos just on point with those wake-up attacks. Man, yeah, Marcos is looking very clean. Oh, no, just I say that, but it doesn't matter. That's it's a two-hit attack. So. I mean, he could have tried to Ultra, but no. it would have been hard. All right, so I st stepped away from the computer for just a minute, and uh, El Camino Loco is on match point here. Joe Dubs. You know, I think he's just a really hard match for Dudley, man. Yeah, that's what I was That's what yeah. I was telling him. It's just Vegas hitbox, like, it's so awkward. Like, it's really hard to pressure him. It's kind of like Honda. Right. When you get that one jab in or something. <laughs> yeah. But just, I mean, if he can get in on Vega, it's pretty free, too. But yeah, it's, it's just a lot harder to pressure him than a lot of other characters. Definitely. Wow. Nice trade roundhouse. Oh, my God. It's got to be close to Sun now, too. Whoa. Wow, that was Marcus's opportunity. Ultra. And Good stuff. Okay. He's going to take it. Wow. Great, great job from um, Marcos, man. Really uh, dominated that match. Like I said, I stepped away for like a minute, and uh, that was that. So, in any case, uh, basically anybody with pokes, yeah, is gonna be Dudley. So uh, let's see what's going on here. They're actually playing. It looks like there's a match playing off stream that we have to wait for. Watam versus Kurikiba, and then the. Oh, it looks like Kurikiba's just about to ship somebody out. Ooh. Okay, and then the winner of that will play Willpower. So we'll have a uh, DJ mirror coming up. And we need to like fix these brackets so they stop playing each other. What? Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what, what are you gonna do, man? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm uh, sick of two DJs. Hey, hey, yeah. For the rest of the matches, just play them on stream. So, so winner, this have um, have uh, uh, what's his fuck? Oh, Willpower. Yeah, have, have Willpower sit down and get set up, and then yeah. So I'd say a pretty good turnout, even though, uh, I mean, Revelations is this weekend. And there's all, uh, also another tournament going on tonight, I think, I believe, right? Uh, I think IPL's doing a Dead or Alive thing down in San Mateo. Oh, I know okay. Ro Ro Roger Dodger's down there, that traitor. Wow, what a piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't even come to South or freaking Starbase on Sunday either. Oh, he Everybody did? showed up and didn't show up. I'm like, really, dude? Wow, what's going back, dude? Didn't well, want to get blown up. He's, he's down there. It's cool. He's down there rubbing elbows, doing work, so... No, it's actually, I mean, uh, um, to be fair, it's it's being held at uh, the Hot Import Nights-like convention. So there's probably, like, a ton of, like, uh, this is going to be, like, on the front page of Kotaku, like, before I know it. But, like, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of beautiful ladies down there. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> hey, man, you got you to gotta do what you got to do. Yeah. Hey, so. man, it's a dead or alive. Like, what do you expect? Yeah, I guess, I guess right? that's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's what they're known for, I mean, right? Yeah. For the most part, boobs, sweat, boobs, yeah, boobs, sweat. volleyball, yeah, panties, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, where is uh, willpower? Marcus where, is where's, a where's Will? You know where he is? He's right, he's right there. Oh, is he playing? Oh, tell him to get tell him to get set up right here. Hey, tell, tell him, him to tell him to get set up so we don't have to wait much longer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. It just it worked out anyway. Kurikiba won his match. So. Wow. We have a guy player here. Yeah. I guess he just got lit up from by uh, 
Oh, actually, I think he was playing. I think he was at the last round bout, that guy. I think I was. Uh, I remember that guy. Because he looks familiar. Yeah, he looks very familiar. Marvel monsters getting ready outside. Yeah. It's the battle of the century. Marvel should be pretty crazy today too. As always, man, I love Southtown Marvel, man. We have like the, some of the most entertaining matches here. I gotta it's say, the hypest stuff ever. Yeah. Man. Even like the even the the scrubby matches are like, what the hell? And it can come from anybody. Like yeah. the last week, it was like probably one of the two better people here, and it was like the, the dirtiest, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, scrubbiest yeah. looking match you've ever seen in your life. Uh, okay, so this is... I think it's still Loser's Quarters. Yeah, it is. Okay. Then we'll have... Uh, yeah, we got Loser Semis coming up very shortly. So, uh, let's see here. So, yeah, winner of this goes on to play Marcos. Uh, winner of that goes on to play Carm BCL. Winner of that goes to Grand Finals and fights, fights you. So, How many points do you have this season so far? I have two. You have two? Okay, so this is your chance. I don't chance think I got any points last time, so... Oh, okay. That's why I want to win. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, yeah. If I win, I'm ahead. Well, of what the hell happened last time? Last um, round, I lost to. Uh, I can't remember who I lost to, but I think I was really salty. Uh, and okay. then I had to play LPN right after that, and he beat me. Oh uh, yeah, I actually do remember that somewhat. All right. Any case, uh, wait, who's who here? I'm trying to. Oh, okay, so Kurikiba in the yellow, yellow pants, yellow max pants. Oh wow, tries to find it for that Sandy Shore. Just do it. Gotta watch out for those EX kicks. Nice. Man. Ooh. <laughs> the guy getting hyped for the DJ Pierce. <laughs> Keep up blowing up willpower right there. I don't think I've ever seen STA willpower beat Kirikiba. I don't think so either. I think they, they have they have met quite a few times. Does go for a little bit uh, counter setup. I think it's one of those matches too where it's like you you lose it like once or twice the mirror match and then you just kind of like kind of start to mind fuck yourself. You yeah. know what I mean? You're like oh it's shit. Like, am I, I thought I was good. Yeah, am I ever gonna beat this guy? Like. But it's just one of those things. Got to power through. You know, you got to really tell yourself you can beat them. So, wow. Kirkiba got full super and ultra. You know, I'd like to see him actually land it and hit somebody instead of him them blocking it the whole time. Yo. All right. And that's gonna be close. Oh my God! Really? He lived. Oh my gosh, alright. Oh, he burned super! Why, he burned super? Kirk, he's saying Kirk, something, I don't know what he's saying. Kirk, saying something, I see a willpower, says, I don't want to hear it. He's yeah, focusing. He's, he's got his headphones in, like, whatever. He's like, fuck you, I'm not the one who just burned super. It's like talk, talking to him and, yeah. what? Ooh. This is looking good for willpower now. Wow. He's gotten hit by that a lot. Looks like the Mar Marvel tournament is about to start in the background. Then we're going to get a couple, couple matches out of the way. First round winners. Well, I'm surprised Kirikiba's not uh, burning through those fireballs. Oh, nice punish. Can't really get much, but get something. Very close match right now. Ooh. Let's see if we can do something. Oh my good. God, holy shit. Oh my god. The damage. Don't throw a fire. Oh. 
So I think for Akiba, he's just you know, he's, he's just whittling him down. Yeah, that's your Pro Ultra. Yeah. Fifteen seconds left on the clock. Oh yeah. And he's gonna no go way. for it. Uh, I don't know about that. No uh, way. Why? I, I don't know why. Maybe he's trying to burn out the time. I don't know. Well, maybe he thought like he's just not gonna have enough time to do it anyway or something. I don't know. But you know, you're done. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for running run the bracket, dude. So, uh, it's gonna be a huge victory for Willpower if he can pull it out. Yeah, I kind of want to see him win, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of seeing Karakiba win this matchup. So it's always good to see players shake it up, you know, like uh, when they count each other so much in these Rambats. In this late, in the tournament, each and every time, you know, you want to see see the ri rivalry continue. Yeah, I mean, Willpower beat uh, Marco, so I don't think... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's too bad that I wasn't on stream. I, I wanted to see that. Yeah. I want to know how I beat him. <laughs> yeah. Bring us something back. Try to go for some empty jump shenanigans. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh, okay. And very nice punish. Great punish. Uh, it's not gonna kill him, but no, it might. Oh wow, it did. Holy shit! Last time it didn't. I don't know. Well, oh. um, he got those two jabs in before. Oh, and okay. So, uh, it okay. A little bit. I got gotcha. you. Okay, that makes sense. Damn, that was beefy. Yeah, power. He's on the on the hill now. Doing a good job with that Ultra 2 also. I mean, Karakiba hasn't really been able to use Ultra 1 at all, so. That's true, yeah. Oh, man, willpower. Holy crap. <laughs> Yo. Okay, all right. Yeah, so. Calm down. Ow. Ooh. Okay, no Ultra can't really. Okay, you get a little follow up there. Man, Karakiba is, needs to do something like right now. Oh no, don't give it away. Yeah, don't give it away. Holy crap. Oh no. Just stay crouched. He's gonna jump in. He's gonna jump in. Yeah, it's you know, it's just one of those situations where you, you don't really have to do anything. Just wait for him to come to you, you know? Yeah. And No! Oh he messed it up! I right, screwed it up. And uh good stuff. Willpower takes it, good stuff to Willpower. And uh, I think he's gonna stay there. And hey, uh, stay there, stay there, Marcos. Yeah, oh, okay, we get to see it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, this is the run back. Hell yeah, <laughs> dude. Look at him. he's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I should have stayed like, home and played Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Should play Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, this, this is the uh, losers uh, semis. Yeah. Should have played Gyromite at home. <laughs> should have played Double Dragon by myself. <laughs> In my underwear. All right, so loser semis. Um, go home and play Final Fight. This is always uh, this this these like sort of double jeopardy situations are always. I think they're a shitty situation to be in if you won it the, the last time. You know what I mean? Yeah, because well, you're expected to win again, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And actually, uh, now that you think about it, now that I think about it, uh, at Starbase on Sunday, uh, KB is actually 3-0 Hanzo Gonzo, and then oh, in yeah. uh, losers finals. Hanzo Gonzo actually reversed 3 0'd KB's. Oh, no. Yeah. So it was like <laughs> a. I don't know what was happening, but it was, I was definitely not expecting that. Hanzo really wanted it. Although he still got uh, he still got beat by uh, Win Zero. Oh, okay. Those guys, it's like the, the, the eternal rivalry, you know? Yeah, I mean, I want to see him step it up, you know? Because it seems like he's been getting bodied and. He hasn't really been doing anything about it, Hanzo against uh, yeah. Zero. Yeah. I mean, he had him on the ropes, you know, with that Team Super shenanigan yeah. for a while there, but then he kind of figured it out. And I, I don't want to say Hanzo's fallen off because he has. He's still no. very good, but I feel like he needs to put in that extra like three hours a week or something. Yeah. Right. Zero needs to pick it, or Win Zero has been playing, and Hanzo just hasn't. Oh yeah, no, Win Zero has, has been looking pretty clean. Like, yeah. you know, he he's. He definitely has like an unorthodox style of play. I mean, how, how else do you put it? But uh, we'll, we'll see more of those guys in the Marvel Tournament. It looks like it's getting underway off stream right now. Uh, we got Loser Semis, Willpower versus El Cabano Loco. Nice. Hit. 
I don't know. Uh, I wish I would have saw the other match. Uh, I have no idea what to expect right now. Yeah, I know. It's like... <laughs> it's like he's doing a good job of keeping him out, but Vega just hurts, man. When you get hit. Yeah, that's true. Nice backdash. And uh, for those of you who tuned in, maybe kind of new to iPlay Winter Streams, you know, Marco Selkabana Loco, he's been playing on iPlay Winter Streams for a very long time as Vega since the very beginning. So, you know, all those those dirty links that you have to know with him and all the high damage combos, he's got them unlocked. But that being said, Willpower takes that first round. So, he's definitely our premier Vega. Oh, one absolutely. Of them. Absolutely. Wow, he backdashed and still got the charge. Nice tech. Sacrifices the corner, but I mean, he gets the mix up. He just gets him close. Nice, there we go. That's, a, that's the charging I would like to see from, uh, more from Willpower. Oh. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. All right, scoops him up and... Man, Marcos is just having a hell of a time with this matchup right now. Yeah, he is. Oh, this could be the start of something right here. Oh. Willpower just has been really smart with his meter, I think. No. Oh, my gosh. Splat. You got to meet him in the air with Jump Fierce with that. Oh, oh wow. wow. Jump short. Marcos just shaking his head. If only I had a Nintendo controller, I could <laughs> beat this guy. <laughs> I mean, Willpower's just done a good job of dealing with Marcos' pressure every time he deals it and he gets out. Yeah. Obviously messes up right there. Marcos chooses to go for the low forward after that dread kick. I don't know why. Oh, no. You know he tried to anti-air right there. Just lame it out a little bit. Nice pressure by Marcos. That's cool. I don't know what he was going for right there. Ooh. It's all right. We still got another meter. Oh. oh, yo, fancy combos. Don't get hit by that ultra. Okay. Oh, wow. What the hell? Slice them. Wow. Willpower look very strong, man. This is, uh, I'd have to say this is one of Willpower's best showings at a Rambat in a very long time. I mean, he usually does pretty well, but... I, I can't remember the last time he's broken top three. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Yeah, I mean, he's just... He's been charging a lot. That's like... Yeah. That's just been one of his downfalls, in my opinion. I mean, I say that a lot, but... Ooh, I think he tried to backdash, and he just clobbered him. He could punish that. Oh, wow, Marcos chooses not to. Trade slides. Nice. Cool. Wow. Scoops him up. There you go. Okay. Wow, just does Oh my gosh. Okay, jump back around house. Man, that would have just been like, that's one of those moments where you just got Wake Up Ultra, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, if you, you know, they block it, so what? Yeah. If that you hit them, you win. Yeah. You're not wasting any, like, meter. Yeah, you're you know, not wasting so. any meter. You're not, like, yeah. You're just taking a good guess. Wow, okay, waste burns all this meter. 
I don't know how he had the charge for that. Yeah, Marco's getting a little momentum back here. Marco's playing a little bit more patient now. One more hit probably in the stun. Oh my god, just do it. Marcos is going to jump. Got a little bit of meter, getting that super. Nice tech. Whoa, oh, what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> that's the stupidest thing I've seen in a long time. Oh my god, that's the ultra you got to hit. Yeah, yeah it's done. No? Oh, what? what the hell happened? Why didn't you just do raw ultra? What in the world? Okay. Oh man, that's a hard breaker right there. Dang. He had it. Yeah, he totally had it like a couple times. Going right back into it. All right, good there slide. Go. Marco always likes that back dash. Well, Marco's just going in really hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, Will Willpower is just—he was in full control that first match, you know. And uh, Marco slowly but surely is been able to bring it back. Oh my Ooh, god, just like fears. that. He's on match point. Oh man, willpower. He's got to be like... Are you serious? I mean, he basically had it. Tries to go for the, a delayed short to beat that crash tag. Oh, nice! Full damage, and that's oh my god. Okay, that's it. So good stuff to Marcos. He moves on. Uh. Uh, Will Will Power saying he's salty. I would be too. As we were saying before, it's uh, you know the pressure is always on the guy who won the first time to to blow him up again. And I feel like the losers they're they're the ones with the advantage. You know what I mean? Because. They, they already had like a full match to kind of figure out you know what you're all about or whatever so um, I don't know if Carby is up actually oh no he is because of the losers finals right yeah exactly okay uh, let me update this bracket a little bit Sue so willpower gets fourth still did very well this tournament nothing to be ashamed of doesn't quite get to third place, but yeah. And uh, so this is losers finals: Carmi versus El Cabano Loco. Marco struggling through losers. I think he's had to play. Yeah, he got knocked down there pretty early from willpower. So it was like this: one, two, the second, three. third round, and, and then fifth match in losers. So. Okay. It should be a good match. I, I remember last time they played at the last frame mat, it was very, very close. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, that's uh, Marcos was saying that, yeah, it was really close, and Carmio almost uh, took him out. Whoops, need to update the names here. Oops. Dang it. Caps lock. Nice. I mean, both have a, a really good crouching medium punch, so it's going to be That's interesting true. to see, yeah. like, who's going to give in to the other person. Nice punish. Yeah, Marcos, uh, El Cabano Loco, definitely looking warmed up now, you know? Yeah.
maybe he's had some time to think about this matchup since uh, la you know that, that previous rambat as well. Farmby not not giving up just yet. Just like a bull trap. Yeah. And yeah. No reason why you wouldn't. Tries to go for a little bit of uh, counter instead of. Oh, wow, just let the rip. Misses the combo though. Oh. Whoa. Let's get that out of the mix up. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Wow, still beats it. Team get his claw back. Doesn't care. <laughs> See if Carnby uses this to get in. Wow, nice jump back roundhouse. Oh wow, that was shenanigans right now. Wow. Good stuff all around right there. Just yeah. Both avoiding everything they were throwing at each other. Focus back dashes out of there. Doesn't want to deal with any of the pressure from Vega. Standing roundhouse is actually in the... Wow, nice charge. Sizable lead now. Although Marcos has no meter. Oh, there he goes. He's got one. Yeah, Carby has much more. And he has that uh, level 2 ultra. Decides to activate and... He feels right now he's gotta gotta try to make something happen. So. Wow, that was so smart by Marcos. Yeah. Barely gets out of those orbs. That would have been huge damage. Oh man. Ooh. Nice. Marcos on point. I mean, he's not really punishing her for the most part, yeah. but he knows when he's in plus. That's really important to know in this matchup. Scoops her up. Goes for another one. Nice. Wow, just Stantex out of it. Oh, wow. Good stuff, man. That setup's tricky. Nice. Is this just still two out of three? Yeah, this is two out of three. Then uh, Grand Finals three out of five. Trying to focus back dash roundhouse, but Marcos is scooping him out of it. Yeah, Marcos with a pretty pretty big life lead, but uh, now he's in the corner has to deal with some shenanigans here. Carnby doesn't get too much off of that. Oh. Oh. Carnby trying to fish for that super. What? What is he doing? What happened? Think he tried to ultra, maybe? I think I'm he might have, I don't know. He might have tried to have uh, <laughs> EX hell? throw. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's what was going on. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, wow, catches the back dash. It's not looking good for Carnby right now. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough. Marcos, he's been, he's been pretty much fully controlled this entire entire set. I mean, yeah, for the most part. The first round, it was kind of... Back and forth a little yeah, bit. Back yeah, back and forth, but... It seemed like Marcos kind of figured it out. Whoa. Yeah, I really think it is a case of, you know, last last round back. Marcos saying, okay, this guy, he's here. Like, he plays Rose. He's good. He almost beat me. What do I got to do? So, whatever he... 
reviewed and thought about seems to be working out for him. And uh, yeah, he takes it. So uh, uh, stay there, stay there. And then, uh, yeah, good luck, Harrison. Moves on to uh, El Guano Loco, moves on to Grand Finals. And uh, once again, after this, we will have Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. Yeah. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, good shit to both these guys. And uh, I'm just sending out a tweet right now. Uh, if you guys are following us on Twitter, at iPlayWinner, if you could retweet it, just letting people know that the grand finals are going on. We got Marvel coming up next. So uh, if you're not following us, go ahead and do it. At iPlayWinner, you can follow me, at Haunts. And uh, Harrison's on Twitter. He's uh, uh, Harrison a SBA. Uh, Marcos has one too, but I forget what it is. I forget what it is. Grand Finals. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be Vega versus Cody. Can't remember the last time these guys fought at, uh, at Southtown. And all right. Oh, whoops. Oh man, I screwed up the names. What the hell happened? Uh. Sorry about that. Okay. Wasn't paying attention. It was on Twitter and on my phone, so uh, yeah, blew it. Anyway, get right into it. Uh, Marcos with us with a slight lead here, but Harrison. Putting on the pressure. He's got a couple meters to work with. On the bring it death is gonna. Oh, okay. Jump back. Fears. Neutral don't fears. Oh, nice folks attack. Yeah. Um, so El Cabana Loco, he's fighting out of losers. So he's got to win two sets. It's three out of five. He's looking very confident, but that's a big hill to climb. So we'll see how we'll see how he deals with it. Here, so try to bring it back. This is going to be pretty big right here. One more mix up. Oh, I guess a dizzy. And boom. Great stuff. Once uh, once Harrison is on a roll, or just like Cody Cody in general, once he's on a roll, man, you got to watch out. He does a ton of damage, inflicts a ton of stun. It's great frame traps. I, I guess the same could be said for uh, Vago. Once he gets started, this is, a, this is at a ton of damage. Both both characters have very good normal attacks. Some of the best pokes in the game. Oh, a little bit of back and forth action. Uh, Marcos gets a level two into a uh, hot kick into the combo, but Harrison not giving up just yet. He's got a lot of meter to work with. Ooh, nice song. And gets the stun again. First, uh, first game goes Harrison. Oh, oh wow, that was a huge whiff. Great punish from uh, Harrison. 
may not max damage, but uh, it was enough. There's some play playing a little safe right now. Oh, nice overhead. Not not enough though. Marcos has to be careful here. Although what? Yeah, I guess an ultra from either either player is going to do it. Yeah. Did, didn't take much on Harrison's in. Close that one out. So far, this is looking pretty free for Harrison. We'll see see what Marcos can do to turn this around. This is definitely a good start. Got the corner pressure. Nice lead. Setting on a little bit of meter. It's a standing roundhouse. So Marcos can definitely take this one, but he's on the defensive now. Oh, okay, big whiff from Harrison. Marcos capitalizes, gets finally gets a round under his belt. And again, right after this, we're gonna have Ultimate Marvel, Marvel versus Capcom 3, so stick around for that. Marco's looking much stronger in this round. Gotten Harrison a little off his game, but Harrison's trying to bring it back slowly but surely. Oh, wow, that was a crazy anti air. Wow, nice EX on for the roundhouse. Oh, went for the empty jump, but got, but got scooped up. I think he probably went for a crouch short there. Oh, okay. Wow, just like that, Harrison brings it back. Oh. Marco's trying to shake it off. So Harrison, uh, he just needs to win this match. He's going to take the tournament and get himself a solid 10, 10 Rambat points. Marco's got to switch it up big time. To bring this back. He's got a huge hill to climb. And uh, he has shown signs of life, but not enough to clutch it out. So it's going to take a lot. Either way, both these guys in the money and in the points. So regardless who wins, good stuff to both players. Oh, big whiff. A lot, a lot of pressure. El Cabano, uh local gets himself out of the corner. Try to reset set things a little bit, slow it down. Kind of get his footing back. EX criminal upper. Trying to get a little bit more chip in there. Marcos went for the punish. Maybe a little too slow. Okay. Nice anti-air anti to the roughing kick. Harrison on tournament point right now. Let's see how bad he wants to move on and play some Marvel. Let's see if El Camano Loco wants to keep it going. Jump in roundhouse, a few frame traps there.
Okay, good uh, jump in Pierce. And wow, Marco's on the ropes right now. Gets the ultra. Oh wow, gets blocked crazy. And Harrison takes it just like that, 3-0. That was uh, pretty pretty convincing stuff. So uh, uh, I guess he's talking about what went wrong there, exchanging some strategies. But uh, yeah, that wraps it up uh, for the Super Street Fighter 4 portion of this tournament of Saturday Night Snapback. We are going to switch over to Marvel. Uh, so give us maybe like five, ten minutes. Just going to take a quick break. Got to toss in the disc and uh, get things switched over. So once again, thanks for joining us tonight here at Southtown Arcade, streamed live by iPlay Winner. Uh, we will be back shortly. <laughs>